make use of the assignments page or report in your Alex student account, you're going to want to navigate to your assignments list. You can either do so by cl clicking this quick link on the student homepage or by using the student menu in the top left hand corner and clicking on assignments. This page is going to give you a comprehensive list of everything that's assigned to you in this course by your instructor. You can filter and sort this assignments page by just clicking on these headers across the top. The status column is going to show you what's open and available to you right now, what might be open but locked due to some prerequisites, what's closed or what's upcoming. You can also filter by the type of assignment. Remember, there's two distinct types of assignments in Alex. We have our non-adaptive side of Alex, which includes homeworks, tests, or quizzes, and symbolized by these green symbols over here. Or we have our adaptive side of Alex, which relates to that pie chart on your student homepage, which is anything in the module or knowledge check category. You might have a mixture of some or all of those assignment types in Alex, depending on how your instructor has set up your course. You can also filter and sort by start or due date to make sure you're keeping up with the pacing of the course set by your instructor. This progress column here will show you your current progress on these assignments. It's important to note that this is not your locked in score in the gradebook. You can view that by going back to your student menu and clicking gradebook instead. The details column over here will give you some quick and short details on these assignments in particular. You can filter and sort and search up here in the top right hand corner as well as download a comprehensive list of all these assignments. You can also make use of the tool in the top right hand corner to open and close all folders. You'll notice that for each individual assignment, especially open assignments, there may be one or multiple distinct links that you can click on from this assignments page. For this assignment in particular that's open to me, you'll notice that I have already taken one of my unlimited attempts. I received a 100% on it, but I still have it open and available to me. It's still open and it's still linked over here in the name column because I have unlimited attempts. If I'd like to take a second or third or fourth attempt at this assignment, all I have to do is just click on the name of it and it will take me back into that assignment. Navigating back to the assignments list, you'll notice there's two other distinct links here. In the progress column, you may have a link depending on if your instructor has turned this on or off for you, but this progress link here will take you into a full report of how well you did on that first attempt. Going back to the assignments list, the last link over here to the right is the review assignments page. As long as your instructor has this turned on to you, this would go into a review mode of that assignment instead of going back into the assignment for a second attempt or a look at the first time around. This would not impact your score and it would just purely be for review.